because it's about what you believe. Right. You know, if I if you say, well, I got a headache, right? And I give you a blue pill. This pill is going to solve your problem. If you believe in the blue pill, hmm. it's going to work, right. right? So we have to talk about the power of this, the subconscious mind. What the subconscious mind has the ability to do? Convince us of things. Cause us to cause our mind to change. And Jesus kept talking about it. Please. <laughs> Be transformed. Change your mind. Change your mind. He said that all through his sermons. Change your mind. Change your mind. Right? The conscious and subconscious minds, this is a, a sub, sub topic here. Mm -hmm. An excellent way to get acquainted with the two functions of your mind is to look upon your own mind as a garden. You are a gardener. And you are planted seeds, which are thoughts, in your subconscious mind all day long. Based on your habitual thinking, because you know you're thinking at constant, and you never really stop Amen. thinking as long as you're awake. Now, as you sow into the subconscious, so shall you reap in your body and in your environment. Right. Now, that's important to understand, and I hope y'all wrote this down because I'm getting ready to waste it. <laughs> okay, or are you scared of some thought? Where? Okay. Okay. Yes, Tamara. Okay. You can share with me. Now, as you sow in your subconscious, right? Mm -hmm. uh, here we go with my drawing. <laughs> okay. Subconscious, right? Subconscious and conscious. Which we had this conversation and the people are talking about it. Okay? Until the last seeds come. As you saw in your subconscious, because you're kind of, here's where you are. This is where you are right now. You're alert. Right? You're taking in info right now. Mm -hmm. Okay? So everything that you're taking in until you close your eyes today, right? Mm -hmm. Is going here at the end. Okay, so that's what he's saying right there. Okay, it says, As you sow in your subconscious mind, so shall you reap in your body. Okay, so the things that you want to see happen in your life, right? Because now you're not just living a life without purpose, right? You're living a point filled life. Everything that we want to do going forward or that you're going to learn to do is so that your life is fulfilled, that you can command your life, okay? Mm -hmm. You can command your environment, which is something that we have not done. We haven't always been in control of our environment. But here, we find that we can be in control mm -hmm. of our environment and of our body. It talks about healing. Say, for example, you have a condition. Now, everybody in this room has a condition, okay? You might have acne, some kind of skin issue, or something. Everybody's got something on them that's like, where is this coming from? Or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you want to work on that, you have to feed into the subconscious because the subconscious will heal you. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. It will heal you. And mm -hmm. we don't, we're not taught this truth. Mm -hmm. We're not taught that if we go ahead and focus on those things, we can get healed into our own self. Mm -hmm. Even though mm -hmm. Jesus said, physician, heal yourself. yourself. Right? Mm -hmm. We don't, we were trying to be in the spirit so much we couldn't hear, hear what Jesus was saying. Right? So he says, begin now to sow thoughts of happiness, right action, goodwill, and prosperity. And think quietly with interest in those qualities and accept them fully in your conscious reasoning mind. So what does that mean? That means that in your conscious mind, you have got to study. You have got to read and take in the things that are going to cause you to develop. Right? Mm -hmm. A lot of people spend time reading. Right and educating themselves mm -hmm. and when they go to sleep those things get into their get into their subconscious okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
And that's what you want to do because whatever you take in here while you wait is going to affect you here, right? And then it's going to affect your body and it's mm -hmm. going to affect your environment. So if you wake up with, with an attitude or you wake up angry or you wake up unhappy, something happens for you to wake up that way because you don't have to wake up unhappy. Mm -hmm. You don't have to wake up with all of these different problems or thinking that you have problems. You don't have to do that. You can make sure that that doesn't happen. Right. You can do it. This is a, you can do it. It's a, you can do it type thing. So when a person is like, well, you know, I can't get in your I can't get in there with you because my job is to get you out of there. Right. Now if you choose to stay in that frame of mind, right. that's on you. Okay? Because it's like, you know, I pray for God to do this and help me and help me. And then he sends you a deliverer and you don't recognize the deliverer. All right. You understand? Amen. When he sends you, well, I'm just tired of living this way, Lord. I'm tired of these mm -hmm. things happening in my life. And then he brings people into your life, right? I'm talking about God now. <laughs> <laughs> brings people into your life. There's your deliverer, but you don't recognize mm -hmm. that that's your deliverer. So you continue to wallow mm -hmm. in your slavery, mm -hmm. in your captivity. Mm -hmm. Okay, you continue to live in Egypt even though Moses is standing in front of your face. Are you hearing me? Mm -hmm. And that's what happens. We have situations where Moses showed up for us and we don't recognize that Moses has showed up. Mm -hmm. Because God says at the moment you ask me. It's mm -hmm. already been done. I've done it. You know, I don't play around with prayer. Mm -hmm. If you ask for something, it's done. So your job becomes where's the answer? Because mm. I know God sent it. Oh, y'all yeah, ain't hearing me. That's what I'm <laughs> Where's the answer? Mm -hmm. Because when I ask, my father sent it. Not Buddha. And I had a Krishna. See, because in, in what we believe in, right. okay, there's no end. Amen. Okay. So the so the author says, continue to plant these wonderful seeds of thought in the garden of your mind, and you reap a glorious harvest. Your subconscious mind may be likened to the soil. Now here's something that God said to me right here. You know what? And I want to make sure we understand. This don't have nothing to do with me. I want to be clear about that. Okay. But in order for you to increase financially, the way that everybody wants to increase financially, you have to begin to sow those seeds into your spirit while you're conscious, okay? Amen. While you are awake. You start talking about the things that you want to do, that's not appropriate. You don't want to talk about it that way. You want to talk about it as if it's already done mm -hmm. because you want to train your subconscious. You understand? You have to train it. Okay? That way, these things become attractive. You understand? Now, if you're trapped in drama and mayhem, okay, and then you're wondering why drama and mayhem keeps coming in your life, it's because that's what you're bringing into your life when you're awake. All right. So the next day, what comes? Drama. 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 Why? Because while I'm awake, I'm having drama. I'm worrying about this, 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 this. When I go to sleep, it's on my mind. So, <laughs> the laws that are in place say, <laughs> right? Whatsoever you sow, that's that you shall Come on now. If you sow drama while you're awake, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. When you wake up the next day, what do you think you get? Drama. drama. You read drama. All right. If you sow happiness, you're kind, right? That's what you're going to receive. If you sow blessings, that's what you're going to receive. Right. Like, I was saying to uh, somebody, I was saying, you know, there are times where I just can't stand people, mm -hmm. right? But I've been, I learned that you don't just say, you know, get rid of them in Jesus' name. Because as long as you say get rid of them in Jesus' name, they stay around. <laughs> so what you do is you bless them. 
You bless them with opportunity. You say good things to them. You say good things upon their life. May their life prosper. May good things come to their life. And then they're eased out. They're gone. You understand what I'm saying? But we're supposed to have in our mouth nothing but good coming forth. Nothing but good being said. Okay? And it is, of course, this. Because mm -hmm. if you choose to be depressed and sad, that's Amen. your party that you can stay in forever. Mm -hmm. You understand? You can stay in that party as long as you want to. But you know what you're going to have? Less and less guests. Right. Ain't going to be nobody there but you and the devil after a while. Okay? Because he loves it. Now you hear me? Amen. The devil is having wonderful time Amen. when you're not happy. You're not happy? You're depressed? Oh my goodness, this is great. Let's get some more demons in here. Let's make it worse. Let's just, it doesn't get any better. And I'm talking about not something I heard, something I know about. Okay? All right, so it says, what does it say? <laughs> Do men gather grapes or, or thorns or figs of thistles? Come on, y'all, that's bad. Right, that's true. Every thought is there for a cause. <laughs> I like that. You don't have a highlight and spit on it. Every, <laughs> every thought carries a condition, a cause, right? Every thought. And then every condition is an after effect or comes from the thought. Every condition comes from the thought. Okay? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> For this reason, it is essential that you take charge of your thoughts so as to bring forth only desirable conditions. Turn to 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 3 through 6. Okay. Somebody give that baby a bow. Okay. That's that so she can learn how to look through there and find second Corinthians. Y'all help her find second Corinthians. Cause she trying to she trying to get saved. I don't know about the rest of us. Second Corinthians. I hope I got that right. You said ten and thirteen. I want to make sure second Corinthians got a ten. No, you get a seven. <laughs> <laughs> Second Corinthians ten verses three to six. For though we walk in the flesh, mm -hmm. we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not physical weapons. Mm -hmm. Let's take that first. They are not physical weapons, but they are mighty. Through God to the pulling down of stronghold, right? Our weapons are not physical. So let's not think that there's not something happening in the atmosphere. Things happen in the atmosphere. So what is being said here is that your physical, your outward physical is not going to take care of this spiritual condition that's happening. But it says casting down imagination. So it doesn't say, you know, God is going to cast down the imagination. All God right is going to cast down the thought. Right? Mm -hmm. These you are your actions. Mm -hmm. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exhausts itself against. against the knowledge of God. Mm -hmm. And what does it say? Bring it into captivity. Capturing your own thoughts. Now this is what the church preached. But not really explaining it to us. Right. Capture your own thought. Dip it in the book. So that, you know what? I shouldn't have said that. Right. You know that? Let me right. take that back in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. You know, capture it. Start yeah, working yeah, on yeah. those type of things. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't, you do, you have to take an active role in taking care of your business, you know, oh. which is your soul, right? Yeah. Which is your condition, your mm -hmm. environment. Those things can change, okay? 
So what did we say up to six? Okay. Mm -hmm. And bring it into captivity every thought, right? Mm -hmm. To the obedience mm -hmm. of the spirit. Let's not hit all the Bring it into obedience of the spirit because the spirit holds a higher position right. than your physical flesh. Okay? And have it in readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Meaning, we're not going back over that again and again. Right. When we get to a point where we understand, you know what? That's the living right Because mm. I don't want to go back there. Mm. Right. As the Bible says, it's like returning to your, oh, your God's vomit. I'm not going back in, into no vomit. I'm not going back into no condition that makes me feel bad. Hello, somebody. Amen. I went to I'm, Apostle. I'm here. And not going back into any condition that's going to make me feel bad. Listen to me now. Mm. I'm not fooling with people that's going to make me feel bad. Right. Are you hearing me? Mm -hmm. People have to get in my world. All right? Mm. But you're not going to change my world. Right. I'm going to change yours. Right. That's right. the truth right there. Drop the mic, y'all. Hmm. <laughs> As y'all say. Okay. When your mind thinks correctly. Right. Let me say that again. Everybody say that. When your, when mind, your mind thinks, thinks correctly, correctly. When you understand the truth. When the thoughts deposited in your subconscious mind are what? Constructive. Right, harmonized. Constructive. What does that mean? What does the word constructive even mean? It's about build to build. To build, right? When the thoughts in your mind, wow. right, right, are constructive, harmonious, and peaceful, mm -hmm. the working power of your subconscious will respond and bring about harmonious conditions, mm -hmm. agreeable surroundings, and the best of everything. Amen. Now, I want the best of everything. Amen. All right? Amen. But I can't live like a whoremonger and expect the best to come to me just because laws are in place. Right. You know, people think, well, why did God let this happen? Why did God let this go down? Why is God not concerned about the hungry children? God got these. Right. And if we don't know these, that's not his, that's not God's fault. Right. We need to learn the, law. the laws that govern the universe that mm -hmm. God created. Mm -hmm. Did y'all write that down? Because that was so good. I, I you know. I'm not you got you got that? I got it. I hear you. <laughs> Are you hearing me? And that's what's so important. <clears throat> Are you hearing me? Amen. Now, when you begin to control your thought process, <laughs> you can apply the powers of your subconscious to any problem or disproportion. Y'all highlight that? Mm -hmm. In other words, you will be actually consciously cooperating with the infinite God, omnipotent law, God, which governs all things. God being the source, which is what I stuck out there. God is source. Right. Oh my goodness. Write that down. God is Jehovah God. Let's make, you know, let's be clear. Elohim. Is source. Amen. Romans Amen. chapter 12, verse 2. Let's see what that Amen. says. Mm -hmm. Come on, here. 12 and 2. Says, Be not conformed to this world, mm -hmm. be transformed. What does that mean? It means that don't comply and agree with what goes on in this world. Right. Don't comply with the Facebook. Don't comply with the internet. Don't agree with it. Are you hearing me? Mm -hmm. Get above it. Become greater than the internet. Mm -hmm. Become greater. Be transformed by renew. What does that mean? Renew your mind. That you may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect 
Okay? But this, but but here's what he's saying. Until you change your mind, you can't do it. Right. That's what's important. Mm -hmm. Until you make a change. You know, they used to sing a song. If I were you, I'd make a change mm -hmm. in church. You know, that's what they was the, the old people be singing, right? If I were you, Amen. I would make a change. <laughs> Look around at wherever you live, and you will notice. The majority of mankind lives in the world without the more enlightened men, without more enlightened people, are intensely interested in what the world is doing. Right. See, this is the thing. I don't care what the world is doing. Right. I don't care what the world is doing. I don't care. You know, I'm not getting caught up in all of that, but what's going on because we got so many news channels. We got so much news coming out on a daily basis. Right. And each one of those things grabs hold to your conscience. Right. And at the end of the day, your mind is going through all of these different things that happen. And you didn't even pick up your Bible. Amen. You didn't even pick up a good word. Right. You didn't even pick up nothing good. All you picked up all day, all your antennas was about all the negative, all of the things that's going on in the world. And then you want to prosper. And then you want good stuff to come your way. You on the Facebook, you on the internet, you everywhere, you gossiping, you on the phone talking about this, that, and other. Then when the night comes, you go to sleep and wake up, you say, God, thank you for prospering me. You can't prosper. That's not prospering. Right. You know, this is something you got to get out on the island with John by yourself and work it out. And get the revelation of prosperity. Because it's not about money. It's about your whole environment changing. Right, right. Prosperity and prospering is about changing your world, mm -hmm. your own world. Because you ain't got no testimony until you change your, your world. own world. Okay? And preaching it, preaching it. You got holes in your shoe. <laughs> How you going to preach prosperity to me with holes in your shoes? Mm -hmm. Are you hearing me? Mm -hmm. You ain't shining your shoe. Mm -hmm. But you're preaching good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get off that. Anyway. <laughs> Stay right there. Stay right there. <laughs> Look around. Right? We said that. Let's go on. Because I got highlighted stuff. I know y'all got highlighted stuff too. Right? Mm -hmm. Here we are. I don't have any page numbers on here. So we had um, outstanding differences and modes of operation. That's that page number. All right. Listen at this. The captain, let me start it up. I guess I have to go back further. You will perceive the main differences by the following illustration. The conscious mind is like the navigator or captain at the bridge of a ship. That's the conscious mind. Right. Okay, that's the right now alert mind where you are right now, your conscious. Mm -hmm. He directs the ship and signals orders to the men in the engine room who turn control, who in turn control all the boilers, instruments, and gauges. The men in the engine room do not know where they're going. Right. They just follow orders. Mm -hmm. They could go on the rocks if the man in the bridge issued faulty or wrong instructions mm -hmm. based on his findings with the compass, right? The men in the engine room obey him because he's in charge mm -hmm. and issues orders, which are automatically obeyed. Mm -hmm. Members of the crew do not talk back to the captain. Right. They simply carry out the orders. The captain is the master of his ship mm -hmm. and his decrees are carried out. Likewise, your conscious mind, your captain, right, mm -hmm. and master of your ship, which represents your body, environment, mm -hmm. and all your affairs, mm -hmm. okay? Your subconscious mind takes the orders you give it based upon what your conscious mind believes and accepts is true. Mm -hmm. I hear you. All right. So... All of those things that are all day long. This is our work. All day long. Things are happening. Things are being said. You see all kinds of things. All day long. Okay? So when you repeatedly say to people, listen, 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 because this is where we we, we still get a problem. Mm. I can't afford it. Mm. 
Then your subconscious mind takes you at your word and sees to it that you will not be in a position to purchase what you want. I hear me? Mm -hmm. As long as you persist in saying, I can't afford that car, that trip to Europe, that home, that fur coat, mm -hmm. or whatever that is. Ermine. You, Ermine, rap, you can rest assured that your subconscious will follow your orders and you will go through life experiencing lack. Because you say, oh, I can't I afford it. Up. Right? All right. Even though we quote scripture, I can do <laughs> all things, things through Christ who strengthens me. At the same time, that's why the Bible says, out of the same mouth mm -hmm. proceed mm -hmm. blessing Man and cursing curses. in the same moment. Mm. I can do all things who strengthen me, but ooh, that, that can't afford that <laughs> in the same voice. Now, it's different when you say, I choose not to pay that price. Mm -hmm. That's different. Mm -hmm. That's totally different. Right. You understand? Know you got to understand. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Because just because something is $10,000 doesn't mean, doesn't mean 10, that you got to pay $10,000 for mm -hmm. it. But you know what I'm saying? I can't afford it. Wow. You know, like we used to say, when you're in the store, if the price ain't in the window, you can't afford it. Mm -hmm. If you gotta ask somebody, yeah, you can't afford you it. Can't right, afford right. it. <laughs> that one, right? right? Yes. But you know, when you go up to Linux, they have stores, ain't no prices ain't in no, no price windows. Right. And if you gotta go in and say, excuse me, how much is that dog here in the window? <laughs> you know right then, before you even go in the door. Right. If you gotta ask. Let's see, when you get bold, you just walk in the store and shop. Right. You ain't got to buy. Mm -hmm. But you can shop. Right. Okay. okay. Amen. Right. Now here's a question I wrote down right here. Do you, as they say, look at your label. Do you have the mental capacity for change? Yes. Don't look at me, ain't your neighbor? Yes. <laughs> yes. Do you have the capacity to change? Absolutely. Amen. What does that mean? Are you capable of changing? Yes. If you want to now. You, you know, you may not want to. Right. You may just like where you at. Amen. Last Christmas Eve, a beautiful whatever, whatever, right? Was traveling. I guess she saw an expensive traveling bag in the window. Right? Okay. She was about to say, I can't afford that bag. Mm -hmm. When she recalls something she heard, something came up in her spirit, right? Never finish a negative statement. Right. Reverse it immediately mm -hmm. and wonders what happened in your life. Never finish a negative statement. Does anybody have a highlight on their paper? Amen. Because if you don't, shame on you. <laughs> You should have that highlighted on your paper because that's our battle right there. Mm -hmm. That's why we wrestle a lot. Because we take we say things sometimes just just went visually. Okay. We just say things. And sometimes we have to take back the thing that we said and mm -hmm. in that moment, right? <laughs> what did Jesus say? It's not what goes in. No, no, Jesus bow. said a lot. Right, right. <laughs> it's not what goes in. What comes out. It's what comes out that defiles you, that makes you, you know, your environment, that messes up your environment, you know. That's what messes up things, not what goes in. Can't nobody see that. But you can say, you know what, I'm just, I'm so tired. That right there. You tired, you will be tired. I'm so hungry. You hungry, you will be hungry. I'm so sleepy. You sleepy, you will be sleepy. Do you understand? You're the one controlling whatever's happening in your body. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Never again. Amen. Say that. Never, Never again, again will I finish a negative, negative statement. statement. Right? Amen. And then, of course, her, her boyfriend or whatever gets the bag for her, right? Right. Mm -hmm. 
She had filled her mind with the thought of expectancy and released the whole thing to her deeper mind, which has the know-how of accomplishment. Mm -hmm. Know how to get it done. That's what I wrote right there. Mm -hmm. So if you see something that you want, right? And I'm constantly saying, try the spirit. Try the spirit. Right? <laughs> Get something specific. Exercise your ability to get things done. Daily. You know what I'm saying? You want something, you should be coming in constantly. Ooh, let me tell you what happened. Ooh, let me tell you what God did. Ooh, let me show you how that happened. Let me show you what I did. Ooh, you know? Because when you do that, let me tell you who gets inside. God, yes, he does. He gets inside. When you get inside, let me tell you, God gets inside. When you go to church, right? We, we go to church and, you know, then in church and you get up there and you say, well, come on, everybody, let's praise the Lord. And they're looking at you. They're looking at you because they ain't got no money. Right. Oh, come on now. They're looking at you because they're not prospering. Mm -hmm. They're not living in a prosperous world. Right. They're not living in a prosperous environment. Nobody got to tell you to praise God. When you watch me. Nobody got to tell you nothing. You're like, get out of my way. The, the song said, you better give me some room to run. Right. Because mm -hmm. I know how to get things moving on my behalf. Mm -hmm. I know how to get God. God mm -hmm. is Amen. moving in my life. In my life. Okay? So, yeah. And so when that happens, you know, people breaking their neck. To get there, I'm like, wait a minute, I don't really say breaking in there. Oh People are getting there. <laughs> okay? Amen. Another simple illustration, which he gives you illustrations, right? Mm -hmm. Is this. When you say, I do not like mushrooms, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And the occasion comes for mushrooms, it don't matter what you say, you ain't going to eat that mushroom, is what he's talking about. So he's talking about your ability to not even like things that you don't like. I'm not. My grandchild don't like vegetables. Now that is nothing but a subconscious thought that needs to be worked on. Okay? But as long as I'm saying, you better eat those vegetables, she ain't gonna eat those vegetables. Until she make up in her mind. Right. And she change her mind and say, you know what? The vegetable is good for my body. Mm -hmm. It's gonna give me the vitamins and the minerals to help me grow. Okay? Hallelujah. That's what's supposed to happen. Now, at the bottom of this lesson, it says there's a brief summary of ideas, right? Mm -hmm. Worth mm -hmm. remembering. Could you please pause the tape? Is the tape on? Pause it. 